All right, let's fire this thing up. dock line on this boat fleet. We have two dock lines for this craft, one for the bow and one for the stern. This way, when we have the boat positioned and it's down in the boat ramp and it's floating, we're going to have two points to control it from. Well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you working around the boat with us again. This is a 23-foot fiberglass center console style boat put out by a company called Albury Brothers. And I want you to take a close examination of the keel. It's running right from about where I'm standing all the way back to the transom. And it's made completely from fiberglass chop strand mat and fiberglass woven roving. And that's kind of our subject today here on the program. You see, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing on with the construction of our fiberglass boat. We're going to get into how woven roving fiberglass builds thickness relatively quickly. And then we're going to be touching on the coring material for our hull size. This dramatically reduces weight while at the same time increases strength and rigidity. And then what I have lined up for you is an incredible factory tour where we're going to see firsthand how fiberglass gets made from its infancy with raw material. But before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill right now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us right here on the water's edge. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat shipshape. Shipshape TV.